A local family is setting the record straight after they say they were wrongly accused of armed robbery at the Columbus Walmart. Yesterday, we reported a man was attacked Wednesday night in the store by two people shown in that surveillance video. But the people accused say the video did not capture the entire story and the victim should actually be a suspect. Renee Skinner has more. A video can so easily be taken out of context if it missed one little part. And that video that was presented to you all missed the beginning of it and it missed the end of it. This surveillance footage looks like a random robbery, but this Columbus family says you're only seeing half the story. The alleged victim never even came forward. He never said he was robbed. So how can you allegedly charge someone with robbery if you don't have a victim to testify and say it was robbery? Watch this video from start to finish. A man is seen punching another man repeatedly. Tierra Claiborne says her brother, Tavares Hawkins, bought car stereo equipment that was damaged from the alleged victim in the video. According to the police report filed in Monroe County, Hawkins asked for his money back and the man gave him bogus cash. Then fast forward to 9 o'clock Wednesday evening. Claiborne says her brother spotted the guy he claims gave him the fake money and confronted him inside Walmart. The guy got mad and he put, pulled out his wallet as if he was going to pay him. But that was a whole fake, too, because after he pulled out his wallet, what the video doesn't show is that he actually tried to hit my brother below the legs because he's pretty tall. So he tried to hit him low to take him down, but instead, my brother fought him back, which he was defending himself. Then watch this woman standing nearby. She grabs the victim's wallet and looks inside it. My mother grabbed the wallet thinking, is it money even in here? Was this just like a whole game? And it wasn't any money in there. And the video also missed the part when the guy got off the floor and said, there ain't even no money in my wallet. Claiborne says people are now misjudging her family. And because the incomplete information was released, her brother was called a criminal. And all of the comments on Facebook, they should be killed, they should be this. And you know, um, that they, that's how they make their money, by stealing and robbing from people. And I, was, and I even said on Facebook, it's two stories. It's two sides to every story. Now, we did speak to the Columbus Police Department, and they did confirm this story. No charges have been filed in this incident. The alleged victim in the case is not cooperating with police.